Suki Honsu and good evening to ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dharma Dana series brought to you by Buddhist Mahavihara Malaysia. Today's session is also live on TBCM FB. Do subscribe for our FB for more information. The topic for tonight is Tara, um, Tarawana and Mahayana concept of vegetarianism by Pante Professor Lenny Gana Serini Wasa Tero. Without further ado, let's invite Pante Professor Lenny Gala to join us in our live session. Okay. Namo Tassa Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambuddhas. Namo Tassa Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambuddhas. Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Dear Dhamma friends, today I am going to talk about the vegetarianism. Uh, Theravada and Mahayana concept is going to uh, be discussed uh, today. This topic is controversial and always uh, arguing uh, with regard to uh, this vegetarianism. Uh, we will uh, do a study on uh, this topic. Uh, I would like to uh, follow or reference, uh, do the references on Lankavatara Sutta and uh, other Buddhist discourses uh, connected to the Theravada tradition. First of all, I would like to inquire Lankavatara Sutta uh, and uh, the, its opinion uh, regarding this topic. Uh, mostly uh, Buddhist monks and also lay people are thinking about this topic. Should I eat meat or should, uh, shouldn't I eat meat? Uh, these uh, two questions are <clears throat> always in the minds of uh, Buddhist followers. In Lankavatara Sutta, there are six points not to eat meat, not to be non rich. Uh, in this Sutta, it is highly emphasized. Uh, not to eat meat. Let's see those six points. First, first one is all sentient beings are constantly going through a cycle of transmigration and stand to one another in every possible form of relationship. Therefore, we should not eat meat. According to this idea, uh, we can understand uh, in this birth cycle, we are all uh, uh, relations. <clears throat> Sometimes uh, the dog in our home uh, was uh, uh, my father in previous births. At the cat in my home uh, was my mother in my previous life. Uh, in this manner, uh, in this uh, lone uh, birth cycle, we became uh, very close relatives each other. Therefore, uh, we should not kill other beings. Uh, they are sometimes my father, sometimes my mother and brothers and sisters. Considering this matter uh, and also uh, following the Buddhist teaching, uh, it is explained that the animals should not uh, take as our food. We should not eat meat. Sarva Sattvaika Putra Sanya in Lankavatara Sutra, it is explained in Sanskrit. It is given in Sanskrit. So, Sarva Sattva Eka Putra Sanya. 
uh, all uh, uh, the sons and daughters, uh, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers in this birth cycle. We have got both. Uh, we have got birth in thousands of uh, births in this birth cycle, while we are moving in this uh, metempsychosis or sansara. We have met each other as our close relatives. The first point is very powerful, and Buddha also accepted this matter. According to the Mahayana tradition and also Lankavatara Sutra, it is highlighted. And uh, thinking about this matter, we should not eat meat of other beings, other animals. Second point is compassion. Sarva Bhutatma Bhuta or Krupatmata. Krupa means uh, compassion in Sanskrit. Uh, krita, uh, krupatmano bodhisattva mansa mabhaksham. Uh, with the idea of compassion, uh, bodhisattva should not take food of uh, other beings. Actually, in uh, Buddhism, the compassion uh, must take into action. Uh, if we have compassion, we should not kill others, even a saint. Even uh, even an ant, uh, ant or any other very tiny or small creature should not be killed. Uh, considering uh, the basic teaching of the Buddha, uh, considering uh, this compassion, uh, we should not uh, kill other beings and we should not eat the flesh of other beings. Third fact is... Uh, given in this manner. This cruel habit of eating meat causes an entire transformation in the features of a bodhisattva whose skin emits an offensive and poisonous odor. Uh, when we eat meat, uh, the bad smell will uh, comes up, will come up from our body. Therefore, uh, we should not eat uh, meat. In Sanskrit, it is given in this sutta, Anarya Jana Jushta Durganda Makirti Karatvat. Anarya Jana Jushta Durganda Makirti Karatvat. This uh, habit is uh, connected to the bad people. And if you, if we eat meat, so it is a cause for the bad smell uh, of our body. Our mouth will uh, release a bad smell and also our flesh and skin release a bad smell. Therefore, we should not eat meat. The fourth fact is uh, given in this sutta as eating meat may be a cause for terror among other beings. Pisita uh, sinah sattva Durata eva drustva swana prabhayanti. If we eat meat, it is a cause for the fear of other beings, other animals. So they have a kind of a sense, or a sense of other persons. If we eat meat, they will recognize. They will recognize this person is eating our flesh. Therefore, we should not fight against. We should fight against uh, with this person. We have to kill them. We have to bite. We have to work against to this person. He has taken uh, the flesh of our relatives, our friends, and. Uh, same uh, clan of our animal group. Uh, thinking about this mat matter, uh, we should not eat meat because it is producing the fear uh, of uh, other beings, uh, fear to other animals. The fifth one 
his goats will uh, not help him no protectors in mahayana tradition it is uh, explaining that if we eat god protect us so uh, they we us this same meditation though we are follow we part of the uh, the god support support us you all know buddha the was supported gods always there was followed the thousands of buddha like the seers and parivardhyanti the uh, the gods will uh, give up uh, this person because of taking flesh because of eating meat the sixth one is animal food is filthy it readily decays putrefies and taints it is filled with various kinds of uh, bad things uh, the, the flesh of the killed uh, animal so means is uh, actually uh, producing bad smell and also uh, some times in those uh, place uh, may be warm and uh, it may be rot uh, we should not uh, eat uh, this uh, very uh, bad uh, dead body if we eat uh, dead bodies our body also will become a cemetery uh, the dead body is uh, a keep this in this manner uh, in uh, in lanka avatara sutta it is explained mrutas uh, murugandha pratikula amanyadapi mansama bhaksham tava durugandha pratikula of the death of uh, the animal beings will produce bad this and also will uh, be uh, we have to throw it we should not eat it uh, consider in this matter uh, we should not eat meat uh, these are the uh, six four uh regard uh, it in there is a separate uh, chapter 8 separated na parivar parivarto stama uh, it is named as sabhavarto as uh, this eight eight uh, septarianism uh, it it has given the proper food for the uh, disciples and uh, bodhisattvas the proper food of a bodhisattva or disciple uh, as was adopted by all the previous saintly followers of truth is rice barley wheat all kinds of beans clarified butter oil honey sugar uh this theravada tradition in theravada tradition they are uh, uh, there are references many references regarding this matter uh, actually uh when we consider about the basic teaching of the buddha 
we can't kill other beings. Sabbe dandasa atta nang upanaye nagharin all fear de ayanti ma upamang patun anujanya. Hanatan pare sang. We should not kill other beings, and also uh, we should not allow others to kill beings. We should other person. And uh, we should not approve thing. these both uh, factors are connected to see uh, we should not kill so we should not or we recommend uh, killing being uh, funny yeah. if we an use another person to kill another it is also wrong on kill but we inform to another one, kill him or kill it, animal. That one also, Nacha Ghata Yehi, Nacha Anu Janyi, considering three facts, uh, we can uh, eat meat. This is a good news. Jeevaka, uh, a uh, royal uh, doctor in uh, Raj Gaha city, Raj, uh, Rajkir city. Uh, he asked from the Buddha, Venerable sir, can we eat meat? At that time, Buddha said, Okay, you can eat, but before that, you have to consider these three things. Aditya Asuta Apari Sankita. Uh, if we see uh, that being kill, uh, killed for me, we should not eat. And if we hear this being or that being killed for me, for my food, we should not eat in that occasion. If you have any doubt, any risk, uh, regarding that meat, this meat is uh, this animal was killed for the sake of my food. If we have a doubt or thought, at that time we should not eat. So, ditta uh, sutta parisankita. These are three words in Pali. Ditta means seeing, sutta means hearing. Parisankita means uh, doubt. If we have uh, these three things connected to our meat, we should not eat it. This is called Tikoti Parisuddha. Tikoti Parisuddha. Uh, when uh, we eat meat, we have to think about these three facts. Otherwise, we can eat. According to Jeevaka Sutta, we can eat meat. No need to be Buddha uh, recommended the meat which are not uh, connected to the killing for oneself. Which uh, uh, any, uh, which meat is uh, not uh, uh, deserve, not uh, cooked for me, uh, killing that me that uh, animal. We should not take that meat. I think it's clear. Ditta sutta parisankita. If we see that animal kill for me, I, we should not eat. This is the first one. If we have heard. That animal kill for me, we should not eat that place. If we 
have a doubt that uh, animal killed uh, for me for uh, my uh, meal or my food we should not eat so this is a very important point uh, it gives us an idea buddha uh, not banned uh, meat eating buddha allowed to meat eat uh thinking about the various environments when various regions various countries i think buddha has recommended uh, in this way and there is another sutta uh, uh, named as amaganda sutta uh, vegetarianism uh, is explained there Uh, there was a brahmin named amaganda he came to buddha and asked the venerable sir what is amaganda uh, uh, buddha said amaganda means uh, cravings at that time that brahmin min said no amaganda me so uh, do it do you eat and uh, uh, explain that meat is uh, connected to the amaganda can question first question is what is the amaganda and amaganda is the sick it's not a measure of holy, holy life here is some signal problem sorry for that uh, and also buddha explain vegetarianism is not the cause for holy life uh, explaining these things buddha wanted to give a dhamma talk to amaganda buddha said uh, the sinful things are cravings anger lust uh, illusion jealous and these things are named as sinful things so eating flesh is uh, not producing cravings it can be taken as a food for the protection of life therefore uh, i would like to explain here removing craving is the great thing the uh, if you eat meat it is not a cause for a holy life it is not uh, affecting to the holy life this is the teaching of the buddha the which is given in amagala and the sutta there is another reference in uh, the other tradition venerable devadatt wanted to uh, get permission Uh, from the buddha uh, regarding five factors those are for us this is the first fact uh, the monks should uh, live around the third factor is all the monks should wear the cha thro cemetery uh, uh the four monks should live the is rook uh, let them wear robes which are thrown uh, in the cemetery let them live eat in meat Oh, 
I give permission to all the monks, all the disciples. Do it according to their own opinions. Oh. Then I would like to give to uh, 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 given uh, uh, not, not to it. Uh, Yes. Lions, hyena, elephant, dog, expand, some be flesh, we should not take. Uh, so many bun in Mahaparinibbana Sutta, it is uh, explained, uh, Lord Buddha uh, used. Sukara Madhava for uh, as uh, as his last meal. Uh, this idea is uh, producing uh, a risk to the Buddhist disciples. Lord Buddha has taken pork for his last meal. Do you think Lord Buddha has taken Pork, meat of pig, as his last meal. There are various kinds of opinions regarding this matter. Buddha Gosa, commentator of uh, Theravada uh, Nikayas, especially giving uh, a com. Uh, Commentary on Mahaparinibbana Sutta, he has given many ideas regarding this matter. One idea is it is Sukaramansan, the flesh of a pig, it means pork. Sukaramadva means pork, not young, not all. That uh, pork, that pig is not young and not all. Maddava means soft. Soft flesh of a pig. It is called Sukara Maddava. And there is another idea. Ahichattakam. A kind of mushroom. A snake mushroom. A serpent mushroom. It means Ahichattaka. Uh, Buddha Gosa has given that idea also. Another idea has given by him, Rasayanam, a uh, uh, source mixed with the various kinds of medicinal things, uh, mixed with chemicals, oh, very uh, nutritious and very useful chemical. It is uh, Sukara Madhava, Rasayanam. Uh, in addition to these uh, explanations, in uh, many books, many articles, there are uh, many other ideas. It is uh, uh, milk rice uh, mixed with ghee. Sukara Madhava is milk rice mixed with ghee. And also, uh, um, kind of mushroom which is found from the 
grown by pigs. It is called Sukara Madhava. There's uh, a mushroom even today uh, in European countries, uh, hog mushroom or truffle mushrooms. Truffle mushrooms. This mushroom is very expensive and it is nutritious. More than $2,500 expensive. 1 kg. 1 kg is uh, 1 kg is cost more than $2,500 US dollars. You can uh, refer Google search truffle mushrooms found by the pigs. They are actually underground growing in the earth in the earth. Uh, uh, those people, those farmers carry in pigs and uh, they uh, search uh, with the sense of pigs uh, these mushrooms, then they found, uh, they sell it. My opinion also, Lord Buddha didn't eat pork. He ate this uh, truffle mushroom or hog mushroom, which are found by the pigs from the ground and another idea is there are bamboo shoots uh, which are uh, thrashed by the uh, pigs the tender uh, sprouts of the bamboo uh, trees are named as sukara madhava they are used as food even today in some countries. So they are uh, thrashed by the pigs. That is why Sukara Madhava. Madhava means threshing, trampling, or like that. So uh, using their legs, they uh, pre uh, press them and they scatter them here and there then people take them uh, and collect them prepare as food this is called sukara uh, in this manner we can uh, recognize the sukara madhava is not a meat buddha didn't eat meat According to my opinion, many Buddhist disciples think Buddha has got uh, compassion. So uh, he has uh, given a rule not to kill, not to force killing and not to help, uh, not to support killing. Uh, this person will not recommend meat eating. Do you know Venerable Arahant uh, Nan Uppalavanna? She prepared a meat curry and uh, uh, offered to the Buddha, but at that time there was not Buddha. Buddha has gone to another region, another place. Uh, monks accepted that uh, meat curry. After coming Buddha, they offered it to the Buddha. At that time, Buddha praised the action of Uppalavanna. This idea is given in uh, Udana, uh, Udana Attakatha. But there is no mention Buddha ate uh, that meat curry. Accepting is a responsible responsibility of the monks. Anything can accept, using or not using. Eating or not eating is their response, responsibility, their duty. If they uh, refuse the offerings, it is a cause for the anger of other devotees. When they, when they move uh, some regions, uh, forest regions, and uh, where the uh, wild uh, men, 
we call them as vedas or uh, while for us for us man for us people they are always uh, taking food uh, meat as their main food those people offer meat to the monks if monks refuse it reject it they will get angry so uh, i think monks have taken meat in the forest uh, in the seaside because in the seaside uh, always people are uh, doing fishing uh, fisher is their main livelihood so on, only they have um, fishes to make curry they always take uh, fishes as their main curry those uh, fishermen will offer fish curry to the monks at that time monks have taken some uh, rare food situations was uh, were there in the period of buddha i think the monks have taken food from uh, those uh, people therefore buddha haven't refused uh, meat eating there is no any place where refused the meat eating by the buddha but some hints are there we should not eat meat uh, in there is a sutta chul mahahatti padopama sutta chulla hatti padopama sutta in many suttas there is a reference amak mans patigahana pati virato hoth the monks should not accept raw flesh of the beings amaka means amaka means raw not cooked raw mansa means flesh the monks should not accept from the devotees raw flesh uh, it means cooked flesh okay no problem meat curry is is uh, recommended amaka mansa amaka dhanya the raw grains also not to be taken not to be accepted by the monks amaka dhanya this way buddha has given some chances to the monks to be uh non veg to be non veg vegetarianism is good but there are some there are some regions some countries some places that precept cannot be observed as you all know when we go to korea china the main food is flesh or meat uh pork chicken and beef these uh, three uh, things are always taken as their main food it is difficult to observe as a precept uh, in many other places we have got some uh, references regarding this matter uh one place is uh a uh, one upasika is was there named as suppa vasika suppa vasa uh that upasika went to the temple uh to visit a, pay, uh, uh, a monk who uh, was uh affected Uh, by a sick by a disease he was a sick monk after reaching that monk as venerable sir do you take food that monk said i can't eat food no appetite i don't have any uh, will to take food then upasika asked venerable sir may i prepare a suitable food for you 
Okay, you can. Then she went back home. She wanted to prepare a meat curry. Uh, that day was a full moon poet day. All the uh, butcher's shop, uh, meat shops were, were closed. Then uh, she came back. She cut down uh, some part of his upper leg, thigh. Uh, her thigh. He take uh, flesh from her thigh, upper thigh. Then uh, took a cloth and covered it, put medicine. Uh, after that, she cooked this meat curry, then sent it by a servant, female servant, to the temple. She told her to offer it to that sick monk. She offered it. That monk ate human flesh as a food. Then the Buddha, while traveling on that road, went to that house for arms. At that time, Buddha also was offered rice and curry, but uh, uh, no meat curry. Buddha asked, where is that Upasika? Servant said, she is sick now. What kind of sick? Can I give blessings to her? And then Buddha met that Upasika, asked, what kind of uh, disease do you have? Do you suffer? Which, uh, which kind of disease uh, cause for the suffer? She said, Venerable Sir, don't blame me. I wanted to give uh, meat curry to that sick monk in that temple, but there was no meat in the shops. I cut down my thigh and took out flesh of my thigh and prepared it as a food, meat curry. I sent it, then uh, that monk has taken it as a food. Oh, oh, very bad thing, Buddha said to the monks. Monks should not take human flesh as their food. Prohibited. Buddha prohibited uh, that one. Me, uh, human flesh should not be eaten. It gives another idea. The other uh, flesh is okay. But in Besajya Kandaka, it is given 10 kinds of uh, uh, flesh or uh, animals not to be taken as food, as I explained earlier. Uh, others, okay, no problem. Considering these all factors, we can get a conclusion. Uh, meat eating is not refused by the Buddha. Buddha haven't given any rules and regulations regarding meat eating. One can be a vegetarian, one can be a non-veg person. It depends on their will. The meat eating is not producing a holy life uh, to the disciples. The cravings or the thoughts of cravings are the sinful act activities. The thoughts connected to the uh, cravings, such as lust, il uh, anger, um, illusion, jealous, proud, conceit, these are the dangerous, sinful things uh, connected to the living beings connected to the human beings the meat eating is not prohibited in theravada tradition but in mahayana tradition in lankavatara sutta it is clearly uh, refused 
meat eating is uh, rejected giving given six kinds of uh, facts or points so uh, i would like to uh, inform to our dhamma friends if you like to be a vegetarian okay you can uh, if you can't live without uh, meat eating okay you follow it you do it but you have to uh, be aware of three facts which are given in jivaka sutta not seen not heard not suspected that animal uh, was killed for me i haven't seen it that animal killed for me i haven't heard about that that animal was killed no suspicion no uh, there is no a uh, doubt there is no any risk in my, my mind uh those animals were killed they have kept in the shops people uh brought uh, those uh meats that meat from a uh, shop already killed that uh, bean so as we buy other vegetables people buy meat from the shops and they cook they offer to others there is no any sin sinful action connected to this matter if we think uh we are supporting uh to killing eating meat it is wrong i think uh, when the farmers uh, grow up the vegetables rice and other things in the paddy fields they kill many insects tiny creatures uh, sprinkling poisonous things chemicals so we should not eat those things also if we consider we are supporting uh, for the killing taking meat there is no any logical point uh, but my idea is as explained in lankavatara sutra when we eat just we feel we are guilty we are polluted because we are inserting death uh, beings into our body so our body becomes a bad place it may be a impure uh, object so for the practice of the meditation when we practice meditation when we follow the path of buddha just we feel oh i i am eating meat there's a general idea in the society if someone eat meat oh that one is meeting eat uh, some buddhist devotees also are there uh, first, uh, they check uh, this monk eat meat or not if a monk uh, don't eat meat or oh, he will be highly respected if the other monk eat meat oh he is eating meat no good they say like that there are such kind of general idea but according to the buddhism we should not think in that manner in many places in many suttas uh, buddha uh, haven't refused uh, meat eating it depends on the persons uh, none which is not a cause for the sinful life vegetarianism is not a cause of a holy life saying these things uh, i would like to uh, request from all the buddhist disciples do it as your own way
if you think it is no good okay you give up it if you think it is uh, good there is no any problem of meditating okay you do it and you follow you practice the buddhism the path to the liberation then you will reach to the final goal i would like to wind up my dhamma talk if there are questions you can ask you can uh, discuss with me actually i did this dhamma talk with many difficulties here no enough uh, signals for the internet i am in a rural area today or uh, i am uh, having many problems it was raining heavily thundering however i am so happy i did uh, this uh, dhamma talk as uh, enough i think it's enough for you uh, yesterday also i had the same problems i faced uh, for pale also here uh, today i am so lucky i did it now uh, one hour is over 57 minutes over uh, it's time to wind up uh, may triple gems bless you may you all attain nibbana sadhu 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 thank you pande for the sharing sharing us the wonderful dharma session tonight we shall have our q and a session now with pande any uh, dear bande i am a buddhist and we include meat in our diet my family and i do not order liu animals to be slaughtered for our meals therefore is it okay to maintain this lifestyle or should we go full vegetarian thank you for your advice okay sister uh, we can uh, give answer for this question uh, it depends on your will if you don't like you can give up as uh, recommended in many suttas uh, just you haven't seen haven't heard you have not a uh, uh, doubt this animal kill for you therefore no problem according to theravada tradition you are allowed to take those kinds of meat dear bante i think many people have misunderstood the purpose of being a vegetarian the vegetarian food are made to look like meat or animal products do bante think uh, it is right thank you actually uh, animal products uh, is not producing sin when we take animal products it is not producing sinful uh, things uh, one can take those animal products so it is uh, not a cause for the breaking of the precepts uh, as i explained earlier the things uh, which are in the stores or shops or food uh, stalls you can take you are not connected to that killing i think you can have animal products hi bante can bante suggest few methods on how to stop craving for meat play please ah uh, thank you actually uh, we can uh, give up this craving practicing uh, or thinking about the compassion uh, we when we eat meat uh, it is a cause for the many diseases as i have heard <coughs> because we take the flesh uh, flesh of the dead bodies dead animals uh, the dead animals dead bodies have got lots of uh, bad uh, things uh, therefore uh, we should not take uh, rot things we have to take uh, fresh things as food thinking about this uh, matter one can avoid meat eating
Okay, thank you, Pante, for answering all the questions from our audience. Okay, now thank let's you very much. To conduct a no more dana. Okay, uh, I would like to uh, transfer merits to the gods uh, and departed ones. Uh, actually, uh, I was uh, invited by the brother Leslie to do this Dhamma talk. Today he is having a function. Uh, I uh, remind, I would like to say thanks to brother Leslie and Bhante Vinita and chief monk, uh, chief Naika Thera in Buddhisma Vihara and other monks and also all the officers and the members of the Buddhisma Vihara uh, the Ayaka Sabha and I, all, I would like to thank and I would like to transfer merits uh, to all the uh, persons who have joined, who have connected uh, to this uh, Dhamma talk, uh, thanking and transferring merits to all these persons. I would like to say Sabbe Satta Bhavantu Sukitatta me all beings be happy. May you all attain Nibbana. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you, Bande, again. On the behalf of the monk and management of Mahavihara, we would like to thank Bande for his time and sharing his Dharma knowledge with us. We would also like to express our gratitude to our sponsors for their kind donations and all our audience for joining us tonight, despite some of the poor connections that we're having tonight. Um, thank you, Pante, and thank you, everybody. Good night and have a pleasant evening. Suki Hantu. Okay.